Good day everyone, my name is Abaladio Lawi and I want to teach you on how to do some simple computations and analysis using Microsoft Excel. So I have three set of values, the SAT for satellite, EGM and XGM data. They are joint values for surveys. So I want to compare the three data together. So the first thing I want to do is I want to subtract SAT from EGM and SAT from XGM. So here I will write SAT minus EGM and the next one I will write SAT minus XGM. So the values of those one will be under them. So SAT minus EGM is going to press equal to equal sign to this one, then press minus and this one, that's C2. Then if you press enter, it will show you, it will give you the answer like that. Then let's come for SAT and do the same thing, SAT and the XGM equals to sign SAT negative XGM. You can see now, now clicking on the first result and double clicking on this point, see that's turned to this black one, double click on it, it will do the same for the remaining rows. And here, let's do the same if you do for the remaining rows. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do correlation analysis between the satellite and the EGM, the satellite and the XGM. So to do that, I'll come to my data. This is I'm in data already from home. We just come to data and click on data analysis. You cannot find your data analysis on your own. Just come to file, come to more, then options, come to add scene, then make sure. You Make sure this one is on analysis to pack. Analysis to pack. Once it's on, then you will see there. Press OK. Then click on data analysis. Then select the type of things you want to do. My own is correlation analysis. I want to do now. Click on correlation. Correlation. Pressing OK. The input range that is this uh, your data. The data you want to find the correlation. So these two. Now, don't it said group by it should be group by colon, not group by row. If it's group by row, that means every everything I'm doing is comparing row two minus row three minus row something which is wrong. We want to compare the, the work in column B and one in column C. So we click on columns. Then I asked it, I told you that it should output my work in a new worksheet. So pressing OK. And this is my result. You can see the result of my correlation analysis. So that's for between EGM, that's between SAT and EGM. Now let me do for the second one. Go back, click on data analysis again, correlation, okay. Then I will change this one by clicking. Sorry, sorry. I have to copy this out, this whole column, copy. I'm going to paste it here, paste values, then copy the XGM I want to do to copy. I'm going to paste values here too, so so that I can highlight the two together. That's why I'm doing that. So after like this, click on the analysis correlation, press OK. That's so I will come here. Then that's my input range. Then I press OK. You can see the result of the second one too. So the first one is the closeness of this, uh, the correlation analysis of the, of the first one is 0 0.999968, while the second one is 0 0.99996. That means the first one is closer to the satellite more than the second one. So that's one of the analysis. Then I want to do regression analysis too. Regression analysis has many things in, embedded in it, so I will not delete this satellite and, and XGM together. I will not delete it so that I can use for regression analysis too. So for the regression analysis, click on data analysis again. You see regression, search here, click on regression, OK. This one is a little bit technical. Input the Y range. The Y range is the first column. So I've input it. Then the second 
input the x range that's the second column or i like the or the second column too please don't let it go beyond the the border now the constant is not zero and don't label it the confidence level is 95 yes confidence level is 95 confidence level of 95 will make your work will test your work to the highest degree it's good so let's press ok and you can see the result it has given you now and the, this is the regression statistic the, the multiple r the r squared adjusted r squared the standard error and the number of observations which is 28 to give us the the standard error and the mean error and everything like that then the significant value to, to give me the upper limit and lower limit too so this is how to do data analysis on excel now if you if you see the this data analysis part you can see that there are other things you can do there the descriptive analysis the covariance the exponential smoothing the histogram for the analysis there are many analyses that you can do there just the one that you need to do for your work that's what you will do and to give you the result then you can interpret the result by yourself so this is how far we are going on the on how to use excel for simple data analysis i will be covering large parts in subsequent videos thank you